there, I'm Hilary and welcome to our free course, The Seven Rules of Adept English. Every day for seven days you'll receive an email from Adept English and in it you'll find links to the video, like you're watching now, an mp3 file so that you can just listen and a PDF file with a transcript of the words. So watch the video first of all and then perhaps you can download the mp3 file to your phone or tablet so that you can listen again. Use the PDF file if you're finding it difficult to understand and then you can look up in the dictionary any of the words which you don't know. So you're at the beginning of the Seven Rules course. Here I can give you a guarantee that if you follow the seven rules for your English language learning, your English will definitely get better. It will improve. It will take time. It's not magic. And you can't learn a language in a very short time. But the seven rules contain the secrets of learning a language, whether it's English or any other language. Also important, this course is not intended for beginners. You need to have a basic understanding, some basic grammar and vocabulary. If you can understand most of what I'm saying in this video recording, it should work for you. You will learn as you go. But if this is too difficult to understand, it's better to go and do a beginner's course and come back to us later. Once you have this basic grammar and vocabulary, my advice is don't go on a traditional language course. Lots of people take courses to learn a language, but usually the focus is on written language, on learning grammar, vocabulary, verbs. This is what I found with my language learning at school. I could read French or German, but could I really understand it or speak it well? Not really. So language courses in college are good at helping you to pass exams, but they don't teach you how to speak. You're unlikely to become fluent this way. Fluent means you understand and speak the language easily and naturally. But if you follow the seven rules of adept English, this will help you move towards being fluent. So today's recording is the first rule of adept English. And the first rule of adept English says that listening is the most important element of all language learning. When you learned your first language as a baby, you heard the language being spoken around you all the time. Inside your head is your brain and it's very clever. As your brain grew and developed, it began to understand what the adults around you were saying you began to understand your own language. Now, did you go on a language course? Did you go to lessons so that you could understand? No, of course you didn't. When you were a baby, you learned your language simply through hearing people speak. Gradually, you learn by context, by repetition, what the words and phrases meant. Context means the situation context if you're at the railway station you hear words to do with the station and the trains if the context is eating a meal you hear words to do with food and eating that's context and it's really useful when you're learning a language so context and repetition are what help you learn language as a child repetition means you do it lots of times again and again as a child, you also had great motivation to learn your first language. Motivation means it has a purpose, an aim or a goal. You wanted to speak, 
You wanted to make yourself understood. English children's first words are often things like daddy or juice, but they may come out at the start as dada or jew, but parents usually know what their children mean. And they learn these words because the child hears them lots of times. Every day parents say, would you like some juice or oh look it's daddy and the child hears the words gradually learns them and uses them so for us as adults learning a new language our brains are waiting and expecting to learn in exactly the same way we learn language naturally if we listen to it with understanding everybody learned their own language like this it's the best way also to learn a foreign language. This explains why people who live in a country where the language is spoken have a much greater success than those who try to learn language in a classroom. Adept English helps you speed up that process in your own time without being in an English speaking country. You may notice also that when children learn their own language, listening and understanding happen first of all. Young children can always understand much more than they can say. So if you're learning a language the natural way, the way your brain expects to learn, then you start first of all by improving your understanding. This is the first task for you in improving your English and you do this by lots of listening. With some practice, speaking will follow on naturally, just like it does for children. If you listen to spoken English for 30 minutes a day, your brain will make the links. Your brain will learn to understand English and it will become more natural and automatic for you. What listening does is allow you to hear the words over and over again lots of times. So as long as you're understanding them, you're learning and remembering them without really realising it. This is the best way. Like you, I struggled with language learning. When I learned French at school, there was hardly any time in the classroom spent listening to people speak French. We learned French verbs, we learned the tenses, we learned lots of grammar and how to spell. We focused on reading French, writing French and a little bit of speaking French, but we didn't do very much listening to French. And this meant that we didn't improve our understanding of spoken French enough. If we went to France, we couldn't understand it as spoken by normal French speakers. I got a good grade in my French exam at school. But could I speak French when I visited France? No. It's only since I've discovered this method of language learning that my spoken French has improved. So the purpose of Adept English and the secrets of the seven rules are to take you what you have learned already and focus on improving your understanding and help you to move towards being able to speak English more fluently, without thinking about it, automatically. So Adept English is a stage in your journey of learning a language. You can understand quite a bit of written English already. You now need to become good at English language listening. Your ears need to become skilled at understanding English. And by listening, your understanding becomes automatic. But you must understand what you're listening to. It's no good if you don't understand. You would be wasting your time. That's why I've included a PDF file so that you have the words written down to help you. Ideally, you understand most of each recording first time you listen, but a little bit more each time you listen again. 
If you have to look words up in the PDF or the dictionary, listen again once you understand them. This is really important. But you will find with Adept English, there are no vocabulary lists to learn. You don't have grammar homework. It's much more enjoyable than that. Learning naturally and instinctively, just the way that your brain wants you to learn. So to recap, don't take a typical English language course to learn English. These courses are good for beginners only. These courses focus on reading, writing, a little bit of speaking, but they don't usually give you enough opportunity to improve your understanding by listening. You don't get to become fluent on these courses. Instead, listen to 30 minutes a day of spoken English language. And it's really important that it's English language that you understand. So the first rule of Adept English, to recap, is that you want to be able to speak English fluently. So you must improve your understanding. And you do this by listening. But remember, this is only rule one. There are six other rules which are just as important, just as helpful to you.